last time on Herb Vendor. So there I was, approaching some weird mushroom circle that all my friends and I had just encountered some character named Weed Orc in. It was weird, but at this point on Moonguard, there most things I didn't question at this point. All of a sudden, I got a whisper from Weedo. I hadn't seen him in a while and was happy to hear from him. He needed help with a task, so I was quick to step into action and provide aid to the homie. Our journey began on the docks of Theramore Isle. I don't know much about this place, but apparently the birds like it a whole lot and they're a uh, large producer of air quality pollutants. As soon as I met up with Weedo, we got straight to business. Come on, my goodness. Are we here, brother? Then so we shall. I'm a bird up. We flew toward a mysterious island in the distance. For a minute I thought it was just some rework Blizzard had done to the Echo Isles, but I was wrong. He tried warning me about what was about to happen, but I was an autopilot, burden on motherfuckers. We got shot with missiles and fell to oh, the water. Jesus Christ. I was fine though. I guess the bone density of my tiny bird bones while in flight form were more powerful than I had assumed. Fuck yeah, calcium. Weedolf immediately opened a trade with me and gave me one of these things. An XA-1000 surface skimmer. I can only compare these things to what I imagine it would be like balling out on a 90s era jet ski. God, I love the color combos on these things. Why is his way better? I'm on my way. Dude, yours is like a sea dew or some shit. I had nearly forgotten that I had my aquatic form at my disposal. That's right. At my very whim, I am able to transform both to, and fro, a dolphin. This ability makes for some truly interesting interactions on the server that I play on. Aquatic form, or the more appropriately titled dolphin mode, doesn't really offer many benefits. Sure, it makes you a fish, and you, you get to eat other fish, you get to do the thing, but in a combat scenario, I don't think a dolphin can even wield a butter knife. Most importantly though, Aquatic Form grants you the gift of fast-ass swim speed, and that's all it took to impress Weedo. I was a commissioned performer at SeaWorld. As we dipped beneath the surface of the water, I couldn't help but wonder if this was even a good idea in the first place. Are you leading me to death, brother? When we entered the cave, I couldn't help notice the tall-ass being standing before us. He had a cool chain. I do not fear him. His chain is fucking cool. Inky Black Potion. Do I drink both? I'm gonna drink both. Okay. I only drank one. I had consumed his dark colored milk and was pretty stoked to see it made everything on my entire screen more goth. We flew for a pretty long time, which wasn't a big deal, honestly. The inky black potions made the sky look cool, and it makes me laugh when I consume bottled liquids while in bird form. After what seemed like forever, we finally landed in the Barrens. I am flattered. 
離れた場所新宿副都心から少し離れた場所カウンターあほう The sacred pipe. After you hit it, can we do something cool? Like sacrifice something? I nominate a Volpera. It seemed like a good place for us to leave things for the night. So we both hearthed to do our own thing. When I got back to Stormwind, I felt inspired. Widolf was such a natural with RPing, I was none. There were so many people around the city that particular night. I thought it would be dumb for me not to try to talk to someone on a more serious level. I like your backpack. Had to pay a compliment. Looks like you have some real cool stuff in there. I lost my backpack in Goldshire. I think it got stolen. Sucks. It had my iPad in it. My Audible subscription was on that thing. Anyway. Everyone has their own definition, but oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. The apology makes you seem a bit guilty. Do you have my iPad? Guilty, uh, what now? I'm going to check your backpack. It's not in there. Sorry I accused you. I'm a traveling herb salesman. Would you care to buy any? Peeks behind her shoulder then follows you with her eyes. Right, I have heard about you and your wares. Only good things, I presume? There was this one panda. It was a bad deal. Don't judge me on that. Or the worgen milk consumption issue. Alright, anyway, I'm out. I felt that my first real attempt at RP had fallen a bit shorter than I had expected. I wasn't worried, however. My guild had an RP event coming up. I had even collaborated with Cute Little Bread's guild so that it would be one big-ass party. The idea for the event was simple. We all meet up in Booty Bay, hang out, eat, whatever. Then we make our way to the Gurubashi Arena to do the same thing. When the day the event was finally upon us, I was happy to step off the boat into Booty Bay to meet a new friend. Shampoopy here is a rogue. He also stands really close to whoever he's talking to. And those are qualities I value in my tight-knit circle of homies. He and Brett introduced me to their guild leader, a Colteron by the name of Buddy Beatdown. Buddy, like all Colteron mains, is a very interesting dude. His transmog initially led me to believe he was roleplaying a horribly executed Mama June, but I was wrong. In reality, his guild was themed around all things motorcycles. Something I probably should have put together by now, seeing that the first time that I met them they were all on motorcycles and we went on a giant ass ride together. I hadn't really thought about it at this point, but what if the entire reason this other guild was being so cool with us was because my guild's name is Herbs of Anarchy? They might have associated us with that TV show that deals around motorcycles, but that wasn't really my intention at all when forming or naming the guild. If they wanted us to ride bikes with them to hang out, fuck it, I was down. We eventually found ourselves at our final hangout spot of the night, the Gurubashi Arena. The Gurubashi Arena is fucking neat. I don't know anything about the lore of it, but I'm going to take a long shot and assume it had something to do with the Gurubashi Empire and maybe, probably, gladiatorial combat. I like gladiatorial strong guy stuff just as much as the next person, so I was happy to see Buddy beat down beating down someone within the arena. Right afterwards, he got one shot by something. I spent a while meeting new people and catching up with old friends. Check it out. I have some glow stick. No, these are from Hot Topic. Okay, are you ready? Pretend there is cool 2000s techno playing. Even Skyla Hunt was here. I was surprised to see them again. It was a little weird. 
I didn't think about it too much. This was something that happened pretty often on Moonguard. I feel like I run into the same people pretty frequently whenever I'm in Stormwind walking around. The rest of the night was cool. I gave out some herbs to new friends and watched people kill each other. I said my goodbyes and logged out for the evening. I didn't sign into WoW for three or four days after this. I think I was busy with work, or maybe it was just general WoW burnout, but I was excited to see Weed Elf had sent me mail when I finally did sign on. I replied to him and was honestly really, really excited to see what he had planned next. While I was running around the city, I ran into Shampoopy again. I couldn't help but notice he had left Buddy Beatdown's guild and was in a new one. Team Shampoopy. I always thought solo guilds were cool and could be funny, but my guild was growing so fast, and it was surprising that literally everyone was nice as hell and super cool. I invited Shampoopy to join the guild. He accepted. I didn't really question it. We've all left and joined countless numbers of guilds. I mean, it, it happens sometimes. Not to Herbs of Anarchy, though. We were growing, and we were growing fast. It was almost hard to keep up with the amount of people we'd have at our little events or hangouts. I didn't mind it, though. I liked it. This was honestly the most worldly that World of Warcraft had ever felt for me. Next time on Herb Vendor.